cold morning here in Texas again, and it is only I like what September 10th, September 11th. Never forget. Um, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mullet Man, and we do a lot of hunting and fishing on this channel. So, watch this video if you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and uh, there's a lot more hunting to come this year. Still got a lot of hunts left to do. Hunting season just started, uh, really just with dove season. So we still have all deer season, elk season, mule deer, all kinds of stuff. But today we are doing a little management. Um, it's actually really not even management. It's putting an animal out of its misery. Uh, my dad sent a picture to me the other day and we have some scimitar oryx out here and two of the big males got in a fight. Um, Actually, we think they've been fighting for a couple days or possibly a couple weeks. And um, one of them is super tore up and he's got gashes all over him. So we're going to put him out of his misery today and take the meat. Um, we don't want him to die and have all that meat go to waste. So um, today's video is sponsored by Pulsar. We are using the Trail 2 LRF today and we have it mounted on the... 50 cal air force air gun y'all have not seen this gun here dad hold this up so i can show them this is the uh 50 cal this thing's bad mamma jamma it is fully suppressed um and it is shooting today we're shooting a 550 grain bullet it can put down some animals my dad actually shot a water buck and a kudu with the 45 cal in africa so this is a step up from the 45 cal so i have no worries putting this guy down um this is the projectile if i can get it out like i said 550 grains this thing is uh, a beast it is like a i could use that for catfishing if i just drilled a hole in it so we are going to uh my dad went my dad has been here for a couple days and he went and found them last night i got out here as fast as i could uh, it's early in the morning so we're gonna go find them put a stock on them because they are super skittish um but we have the bad boy defender today i brought it uh brought it to the ranch with me and uh we're gonna do a little christening on this defender today hopefully with a big old oryx in the back but uh we gotta go find these guys and then we gotta figure out how we're gonna put a stock on them because there's a pretty big group of them i don't know if he's gonna be out by himself or if he'll be with the group but uh, we got to figure out a game plan on how we're going to stalk this guy and not pressure him too much. We don't want to put a lot of stress on him. We want to get on him uh, without him knowing we're there and put him down ethically. So um, I will see y'all in a little bit. Hopefully we find them pretty quick and uh, start to stalk. Right, guys we found him he's bedded down he didn't look too good he's he's actually missing one of his horns from the fight so uh i'm gonna get everything ready and we're gonna take off stalking hopefully he'll just stay in his bed and i don't like shooting animals in their bed but we gotta put him out of his misery so uh get everything ready and see if we can't get him down Straight on with 
<sighs> All right, that was stressful. We, uh, oh man, finally got him down. The first uh, shot I had, I, all I had was um, right there in the spine, and um, I didn't want to take the chance of losing him, so um, I went ahead and took that shot, and uh, he took off. He only went probably 100 yards and we just caught up back with him and he was laying down. So I think the spine shot, he must have just got up and ran with adrenaline and it just finally got to him and laid over. Uh, just put the last 50 cal in him. So um, super, super big time relief um, to have him down. I'm just glad we got him put out of his misery. Got some meat for the table and uh, meat for the freezer. So. Uh, Got him. Got it done. Oh man. Old 50 cal got it done. Man, I'm so glad we put him out of his misery. Look at all these scars. Got scars all over him, broken horn. He'll make a cool European mountain. He's gonna eat good. So he's definitely not going to waste. Thank you, buddy. There's that last and final 50 cal shot. That is incredible. Look at that. Man, dad, his his horn came off of his uh pedicule. Man. man so that that other one that he was fighting just completely knocked the whole horn off broke it and then pulled it off the actual uh pedicule or the inside of the horn i don't know what that's called but this thing is a warrior got scars all over him that's crazy well we're gonna get this guy loaded up get him taken care of thankfully here in texas uh we had this cold front come in so we don't have to worry about uh uh the meat spoiling too fast uh we got a couple hours before um before anything goes bad on it so we'll get it done way before then but we're gonna try to get him loaded and uh see you back at the shop get some pictures and uh air force 50 cal and the uh trail two LRF did an awesome job. I hope y'all enjoyed that uh, thermal imaging footage. Um, I haven't done really any thermal hunting on this channel other than pig hunting. I've done a lot of thermal pig hunting, but this is my first big game animal I've ever taken with a thermal, and uh, pretty cool, pretty cool experience. So thank you, big guy, and uh, we'll see y'all at the shop. Got him loaded, big boy. So. Uh, Yo, Can Am is crescent and uh, first, first blood. So we're gonna take him back to the uh, shop, gut him, skin him. We're gonna gut him and then we're gonna try out this new guy in town, um, mobile meat processing. So I'm gonna take some meat, probably take the one of the tenderloins, and then uh, he's gonna come out Sunday or Monday and process the whole thing. I'm gonna try to get out here and film that for y'all. So. Um, I think that'd be a pretty cool video of a mobile meat processor and how they do it. So uh, I'll see y'all back at the uh, at the shop and we'll get them gutted and uh, pull the old tenderloins out. Get a old knife. We gotta let the. pounds so the new Can-Am is officially blooded yep they got some tough skin on them get this guy hung up and get him gutted just so I 
Like that. Raise them on up. Be a cool European mount on this guy. You just Be the biggest animal. <laughs> try a little more. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Dad, I don't think so. Just try to get him right there. I don't want to be under that. I ain't gonna fall, I don't think. It's bolted through. I can hear it still creaking. Hear it? What? Look at the cable right there. Yeah. Okay. We're going to try to do this safely. Don't do that. I just got them right here. Cut the coins off. And uh, get them gutted. That's sketchy. Somebody needs to make a resharpenable gut hook. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Now I'll just go in here and gut him without popping anything. That's the goal. Look at that fat. Me. Protein. All right, guys, this guy is super fatty, but we got him gutted out. And uh, I'm gonna take a tenderloin out. We're just taking one. Me and my dad are gonna cook it up for lunch, and the mobile meat processor is gonna do everything else. So uh, I'm gonna get this tenderloin out, and then uh, we'll go cook it up for lunch. It's a pretty big tenderloin, too. So I find that backbone. Fall that backbone down, just like that. Come on that side, and just keep working those ribs down, and you'll feel you'll feel where that tender one goes in. And then you just keep following it up. like that that right there is lunch so we're gonna get this guy thrown in the walk-in freezer and uh, see you guys back at the house we're cooking that bad boy up for lunch drain for my cleaning shed at the house. I think we got enough rock. Dad got the grill fired up. So all we're gonna do, simple recipe, he's been doing this since I was a kid. Take a bottle of Allegro, Allegra, whatever you wanna call it, original marinade. And uh, we're gonna put these guys, that's just like a little strip of meat, I don't see how it tastes. And uh, just put enough of this to cover them. We'll let them marinate um, until the grill is ready. And then we'll throw them on. Just like that, we'll keep rolling it around about every five minutes and uh, slap it on the grill, cook it medium rare to rare and uh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Messed up. 
says it's only 100 degrees. All right, guys, all we're doing is slapping this on. Probably about three minutes on each side of the tenderloin. And uh, basically just searing it. You know, okay, so just on there. Shut her down. And wait on her. Feels so good here in Texas right now. I wish it would stay like this, but it's supposed to get back into like the upper 80s, lower 90s uh, this coming week. So. Uh, that's about as fresh as it gets right there. Getting there. It's almost there. That'd be perfect for sushi. Alrighty. She is done. We've been snacking on that little piece. Um, got a lot of sinew on it, but these two big chunks of tenderloin are going to be amazing let's go eat all right just cut off a piece taste test oryx uh tenderloin killed 45 minutes ago with uh allegro amazing um so we actually let it let it sit a little too long we probably let it sit in there for 10 minutes i would say five minutes with this stuff and that is all you need. Um, it can be a little overpowering if you if you do it too long, um, but this is perfectly cooked. Amazing. Let's let uh, Mullet Senior give us a taste. I'll give it a 8.4 out of 10 for tenderloins. Mm. It's so tender. Yep. I give it. I'll give it a nine. Nine. That's awesome. Just cause, just just cause it's your recipe. I'd have given it a nine too if it was my recipe. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a blast doing it. Um, we had fun doing it, but it was also something that we had to do. Uh, put that guy out of his misery. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple videos. Make sure you share with friends and family. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.